okay hi here i am going to discuss with you the problem on instantaneous center method okay the problem is like this in a slider crank mechanism shown in figure the crank oa is equal to 300 mm and the connecting rod ab is equal to 1200 mm the crank oa is turned 30 degree from inner dead center locate all the instantaneous centers if the crank rotates at 15 radian per second clockwise, find one velocity of slider B and the second one angular velocity of connecting rod AB. Okay, see first we should uh, uh, what are uh, the crank mechanism? Okay, length of links are given OA is equal to 300, AB is equal to 1200, and uh, angle theta is given that is 30 degree from the inner dead center okay see here the maximum value is 1200 mm is there it is not possible to draw in the paper okay uh, 1200 is uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is not possible and so i will take this scale for 1 is to 10 that is nothing but 10 mm is equal to 100 mm 10 mm is equal to 100 mm now by using this scale OA is equal to 300 is there to 300 divided by 10 then OA according to scale OA is equal to 30 mm then AB is equal to 1200 divided by 10 that is 120 mm okay first I am going to draw the uh, single slider crank, me uh, crank mechanism with the help of a given lengths okay first uh, see here first I will draw the one horizontal line simply draw the one horizontal line after that you mark it one point on this horizontal line that we called as O from O the from O keep the protractor take 30 degree take 30 degree so angle uh, how much is given here angle 30 degree given from inner dead center okay for that purpose this is the inner dead center and this is the outer dead center okay this is inner from inner keep the protractor take 30 degree like this okay then OA length is given how much OA length 300 that is according to scale 30 mm take 30 mm from here to here and cut it we will get point a okay after that a b a b is 120 mm is there measure with the help of compass 120 mm from here to here then you cut this horizontal line we will get the point b now this is the slider crank mechanism here you have to draw the slider okay then i want to give the name of the links the whatever is fixed that is link number one and this is the crank link number two and connecting rod a b that is link number three and slider is the link number four okay then after that uh, by, uh, after construction of the this uh, slider crank mechanism find out the number of instantaneous centers okay see um, with the help of equation we can find out instantaneous center number of instantaneous center that equation is uh, n is equal to small n into n minus 1 divided by 2 here n small n is nothing but number of links that is equal to 4 are there here number of links uh, by substitute small n is equal to 4 we will get number of instantaneous centers are 6 okay number of instantaneous centers are 6 then after we should know the what are the names of instantaneous centers so with the help of table we know the all the all the six name of the instantaneous center okay here the table is like this links one two three four if five are there you write it five six how many links are there just you write it here in this row okay next number of instantaneous center with the help of links i will write the instantaneous centers see like this see one write the combination with respect to forward link numbers okay like this one two combination one two then after one three one three then one four see one two next one three next one four okay then you consider two 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 three two two four next you consider three three two four then consider 4 say after 4 there is no links then there is no name of the section uh, instantaneous center here okay totally how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the name of the uh, all six instantaneous centers okay see after knowing the name of the instantaneous center locate the instantaneous centers okay it is very simple is there okay
से वी कैन लोकेट द फिक्सड एंड परमानेंट इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर बाय इंस्पेक्शन और बाय ऑब्जर्विंग हियर ओके से हियर लिंक नंबर वन एंड लिंक नंबर टू आर इंटरसेक्टिंग हियर दिस इज द फिक्सड इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर आई वन टू ओके ना देन आफ्टर कम टू हियर लिंक नंबर टू एंड लिंक नंबर थ्री आर इंटरसेक्टिंग हियर दिस इज द आई टू थ्री इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर लिंक टू एंड थ्री देन हियर इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर लिंक थ्री एंड स्लाइडर लिंक फोर दिस इज द आई थ्री फोर देन आफ्टर दिस द इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर फॉर लिंक वन फिक्सड एंड स्लाइडर ओके सी सिंस इट इज स्लाइडिंग ओरिजेंटली वी विल गेट द इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर परपेंडिकुलर टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्लाइडर okay here this is moving horizontally then we will get the instantaneous center at perpendicular to moment at infinity okay i14 at infinity okay see i12 i23 i34 and i14 on this perpendicular uh, uh, line okay that is perpendicular to moment of the slider i14 okay see here in this table i12 i23 i34 i13 okay all these four marked these are the fixed and permanent instantaneous center then remaining two are there one is i13 and another i24 these are the neither fixed and nor permanent i centers okay with the help of circle we can draw the uh, we can locate the i13 and i24 okay see here just like this draw one circle after that okay mark uh, here there are four links are there mark the number 1 2 3 4 if six links are there you mark it 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this okay 1 2 3 4 okay then you join 1 to 2 with a solid line that is nothing but continuation line this line represents the instantaneous center 1 2 then join like this 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 1 uh, each line represents the instantaneous center okay 1 2 3 4 4 instantaneous centers okay then after i want to find out i 1 3 and i 2 4 okay see here join point 1 to 3 with a dash line okay this line represents the instantaneous center 5 this line is nothing but i 1 3 line okay see here when i joined i13 there are two triangles are formed you see like this one 1 2 3 1 this is one triangle and one more is 1 4 3 1 okay this is one more triangle okay now. see after this uh, see here uh, i write i13 instantaneous centers like this see one reaches the three there are two ways with the help of triangle okay see i reaches the th one reaches the three like in this way 1 to 2 2 to 3 see like this i will write it here i 1 3 i 1 reaches the three i 1 2 i 1 2 then i 2 3 then reach the three i 1 2 i 2 3 and with the help of another triangle in this i 1 4 and i 4 3 or 3 4 i 1 4 and i 3 4 i 3 4 okay na see with the help of these two ways i i locate the see here so what is given here i 1 2 i 2 3 okay i 1 2 where is i 1 2 here i 1 2 is there and i 2 3 okay i 2 3 is here okay see extend both side like this extend simply extend both side like this okay extend next one more line one more line i14 i34 i14 is on this okay i34 is this okay that is nothing but by extending this we will get the intersection point on this this point is the i13 okay next one more instantaneous uh, uh, center that is uh, i24 okay i24 okay here i24 how to locate i24 is join point 224 okay by joining point 224 it is also uh, there are two triangles are formed one is 2 3 4 like this and 2 1 4 like this okay then 2 reaches the 
with the help of these two triangles see like this i 2 4 okay 2 reaches the 4 like this 2 2 3 2 2 3 then 3 2 4 okay this is one way another way is 2 2 1 or 1 2 2 then 1 2 4 2 2 1 1 2 4 okay see same i will use here mm, what is first one 2 2 3 3 4 2 3 is here and 3 4 is here okay see after this i 2 4 uh, i 2 4 i 2 3 i 3 4 okay see here in this i 2 3 and i 3 4 here this line extend both side here like this you extend and you extend and another one is i 1 2 i 1 4 okay i 1 2 is here 1 4 you draw same line here okay like this then we will get i 1 2 and y 1 3 on this vertical line then this line is intersected at this vertical line at here this point is the i 2 4 okay these are the uh, six instantaneous centers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 thank you